All right, coming up next, it is a most anticipated women's strawweight matchup between Kylan Curran and Felice Herrick. So here is the perennial strawweight contender, Felice Harris. She started kickboxing essentially right out of high school in 2003 and never looked back. Turned pro in mixed martial arts in 2009. Purple belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Has an outstanding submission game, but is known primarily as a Muay Thai practitioner, a kickboxing fighter who sets a furious pace and has the stamina to stay with it. Felice Herrig fighting as always in the memory of her late brother trying to get it done here tonight this girl's a very well-rounded fighter now some fighters they have a specialty and if they they're taken out of that specialty they lose a lot of their effectiveness not so with her she is equally good on the ground as she is standing up Well, if you've seen this young woman hit a speed bag, shades of Floyd Mayweather, the hand speed is absolutely insane. And I think for a lot of women who fight her, they feel like as long as they're precise with their timing and they're efficient and accurate, they can avoid the hands. But more often than not, you just can't. And even though she doesn't necessarily have the biggest knockout power in the division, the hand speed, downright scary. This girl is an outstanding striker. She definitely wants to keep this fight on the feet. She has very good takedown defense as well. Good hands, very good kicks, elbows, knees, and punches. A full arsenal of striking techniques. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. More than five years apart, with the same height and reach. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Ben Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> Woman is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, six losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting at a Crystal Lake, Illinois, Felice Lil Bulldog. And now introduce your opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding professional record of four wins, six losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting at an Eva Beach, Hawaii, Kylan You do my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. You ready? You ready? Here we go. Really missed with that right hand. Nice punch there by Harry. That one hurt. Lands to the body there. Oh, she connected flush. Clean jab. Ah, she's unable to connect with the left hook. Excellent job of landing punches here. Oh, strong punch there by Kylan Kerr. Well, she got kicked flush to the body there, Joe, right underneath her elbow, right underneath that guard. But it almost looks as though she's moving right into it. So until she makes the adjustments, you can figure her opponent is going to continue to attack that area. Oh, knee to the body here in the clinch. Once again, employing the knee. 
absolutely outstanding knees. That knee might have landed there. Good knee. Another nice knee there. Oh, a lot of volume here. Good series of strikes there. Level change there. That's oh, a hard big uppercut. uppercut. There. Big straight punch. Harry yeah. gets the double underhooks. She's got the Muay Thai clinch here, Joe. Two minutes now to go. Oh, back to the knees now she goes. Those are good. That knee might have landed there. Now she's able to get that tie clinch, Joe. And there comes the separation now. Dropping down, looking for a single. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Now she's in half guard. Curran gets back up and pretty quickly, I might add. Changes her stance. Eric gets caught with that punch. Oh, nice kick. Good exchanges from both fighters. Oh! In on a single here. First takedown attempt is there. Nice punch by Kylan Curran. Looks like she grabbed the Kimura here. Brilliant pass, right into Mount. Excellent job. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Let's see some of the action here. Here we see a beautifully timed kick connects flush. Beautiful submission attempt. It looks good, but can't get it. We really got a chance to see some awesome action in that round. I need you to suck it up this way, okay? You're missing those takedowns because you're not setting them up. You're going to get countered if you do not. Carly Baker in the building tonight. Thank you very much. Second round underway. All right, so round two is underway here. Both women had their moments in that first round. At times, it looked like they were feeling each other out. And there is a lot of mutual respect here, though. So maybe you thought the crowd got a little bit restless at times. Ultimately, these fighters are both elite. A lot of respect on both sides. We'll see if they get after it here to begin round two. Oh, she found the target there. That'll work. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Harry. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Trying for that Kimura. It looks like she's got this Kimura locked up. Oh, we're getting a finish here. This Kimura is very tight here. She might be forced to tap, and her arm is free. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Herrick. Back up. Good defense there. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Couldn't agree with you more. Nicely done reversal. She moves into full mount. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Kylan Cook. Oh, reversal. Looking for the neck. Got the arm underneath the chin. She's got that choke tight. It looks like this submission's locked in for her. She got out of the choke. Executed sweep. 
Hammer fist here by Kylan Kern. Oh, and with urgency, she is back up again. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Oh, she's got a choke. One-arm guillotine here. Looks like a tight guillotine here. It looks fairly close. Look at that. That is high-level ground game there. Getting tighter. Any second now, she might have to... And there it is. Close. Round's about to end. Sunk in that submission and got the victory. Well, you're right, Joe. You could tell she was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but she didn't want to force it. She stayed patient, allowed her setup to do its work, and then let the submission materialize almost organically. So the desired result turned in by this fighter here tonight, and she has certainly set herself up for a massive opportunity now moving forward. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So that win by submission figures to silence any remaining doubters, and that certainly puts the rest of the division on notice. Huge result for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 47 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Kylan So there she is following what could be argued as the biggest win of her career. She gets it done by submission here tonight. She told us during fight week, Joe, I got to keep the judges out of it. She certainly did just that. Now all that's left to do is to celebrate with her coaches and her training partners. She had a lot of friends and family in the building here tonight.